Hey guys, this is Manish from Simply Learn and today we'll see how to run your first PHP program. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be using Visual Studio Code as the code editor and XAMPP to set up our local web server. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, before moving on to the coding part, we'll first have to set up the environment for PHP development. Now, to do that, open your browser and search for XAMPP. Now, XAMPP is an open source web server package which is mainly used to build and test websites on a local web server. Also, XAMPP stands for cross platform which is X, Apache, MariaDB, PHP, and Perl. So, it is an all in one package. Let's download the Windows version since we'll be working on Windows and wait for the download to get finished. Now, meanwhile, let's also download the Visual Studio code. We'll also download the Windows version. Now, let's wait for both of them to finish the download. Now, as you can see, the download is complete. Let's open the setup to install XAMPP first. Now it will show you warnings such as this. You just need to click yes or ok and continue. Next. Now as you can see, C drive XAMPP is the default folder where it's going to be installed. I would suggest that you keep it that way. Now let's wait for it to complete installation. Now the installation is complete. Let us click on finish and open the XAMPP control panel. So this is how XAMPP control panel looks like. So you need to click on Apache server started and MySQL. Now Apache server will show you the default port on which it is running. Now to check if XAMPP is correctly installed on your system, let's open the browser again and type localhost. Now this will open up the dashboard for the XAMPP application. Let's click on PHP My Admin and the information is available here. So the installation is complete. Similarly, we'll install the Visual Studio code. Since I've already installed the software on my system, I'll not be doing that. Now, let us come to the important part. Let us redirect to C drive and there we have a XAMPP installed. Open the XAMPP folder and locate htdocs. Now, this is the folder where all your PHP files, codes and website related data will be stored. Now, we'll open the htdocs. And let us create a new folder here. Since it will be a first program, let us name it first PHP. Now let's open our code editor that is Visual Studio Code. Click on open folder. Locate to XAMPP htdocs and the folder we created first php now as you can see let me close this first as you can see first php folder is visible here let us create our first php file let's name it hello.php now don't forget the .php extension otherwise the code will not run now since a browser only understands html code we will have to embed the php script into the html code itself so let's begin let me zoom it a little bit so you can see clearly let me add a heading so h1 will be too big let's keep it to h2 my first PHP web page.
let's write our first php script so a php script begins with an opening angular bracket question mark php now we'll write the php script that is echo hello world now echo acts as a print function which prints any string that is in front of it in this case it will display hello world onto the web page let's close the script with a question mark and a closing angular bracket and also close our html code now before running a web page let us first check if the web server is still active yes the web server is still running so let's open the browser type localhost now type the name of the folder that you have created that is first php now as you can see our hello.php file is present here let's click on it and as you can see our first web page is visible which shows the heading my first php web page and the hello world from a php script so thank you guys for watching the video if you like it please like and subscribe to simply learn and happy coding hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here